I think sushi is an art. You need to have a lot of patience because you are practically doing the same thing every day. The way you cook the rice, the way you mix the rice with vinegar, the way you mold the rice with the fish is the same every day. So you can't get tired of it. Still learning new things. A sushi chef will never stop learning. My name is Roy. I'm the chef owner of Rio Sushi. I have been making sushi for the past 20 years since 1997. I was 20 years old when I started. Back then, I think that being a sushi chef is cool. Standing in the counter, preparing every piece of sushi in front of the guests, serving it to them and seeing them smile. So from there, I never stopped. Every day, I look forward to work to make sushi for the guests who come to Rio Sushi. We were open in uh, 2016. August, it's been around one and a half years. It has been tiring, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it. In Singapore, to have a good sushi omakase, it's a bit pricey. I set my price at this range, this level, because I want it to reach to more people who love sushi. Our popular menu here is the 18 course omakase with premium fish and sea urchin. The first course will be the salted edamame, and we serve it warm here. The second course will be our onsen tamago with a truffle soya sauce and served with ikura. And this is a hijiki. It's a seaweed cooked with soya sauce and sake. Okay, the first piece will be the hirame, the flounder. We will serve it with a Himalaya pink sauce. The next piece will be Ma Dai, Japanese sea brim, and it's served with truffle soya sauce. The next one will be the squid ikak with soya sauce and some sesame seed to give, give it a little bit of a nutty flavor. The sushi has to be in the right proportion. You can't have too much rice or too much fish. Sushi is supposed to eat in one bite, not into half like, like a burger. Because every piece of sushi is handmade, and there is just enough air pocket in every piece of rice. Okay, the next piece will be the scallop. And in real sushi, we actually torch our scallop lightly and serve it with uh, sea salt. The next piece will be the H prawn, which is one of our signature here. This is yuzu kosho, yuzu and uh, Japanese pepper. The next piece will be the sawara. Sawara is the Spanish macro. The skin is still on, and but we torch the skin. This is fresh ginger, freshly grated ginger. The next piece is uh, Kim Mae Dai. This is a deep sea fish. It belongs to the sea brim family, and the meat is actually very tender. We torch the skin because uh, in between the fish and the skin, there's a layer of fats which actually has a very nice flavor. The next piece will be the akami, with the lean cut of the tuna fish, and we did a quick cure with the soya sauce. So the texture change and the taste change as well. We will drizzle some yuzu zest. Okay, the next piece will be the true toro, medium fatty tuna belly, and it's served with this soya sauce foam. If you work here, I will tell you. The next piece will be the otoro, fatty tuna belly. Very traditional with tuna belly and soya sauce. Okay, the next piece will be aji, the horse mackerel. So I'll be adding some uh, spring onion to the sushi. Okay, this is murasaki uni. It's a long spike sea urchin. Next will be the 16th course, hand roll. And we are using crab today. This crab roll is uh, mixed with our own blend of sauce and some uh, crab paste. For the next course will be the highlight of the omakase, the sea urchin with rice. Every grain of rice will be coated with sea urchin. And I'll be adding more ikura. This is your sea urchin rice with ikura and more sea urchin. We want to spoil the gas here. The so last course will be our soup. After all the fishes, the soya sauce, I think a clear soup will be good to finish off the omakase.